computer just doesn't like, or my internet rather doesn't like putting that type of speed. So let's just jump back in. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... It doesn't, though. I mean, well, besides the fact that you guys are now aware that the um, the TV exists, but or the TV world exists, but she didn't get killed because of you. What about you? Could you just walk away? I'm worried about she. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. Where's your weapon, then? I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey! I said wait! This is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. You guys! Why'd you come back? I get it! You're the ones behind this! You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. But why would we come in here if we were throwing people in here? You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die! Who would do such a- Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I can't say for sure either. But doesn't it bug you how this bear keeps saying someone's been throwing people in here? Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... What?! Hey! 
You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is, you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now! I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying... <laughs> You might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Run that by me again? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face! Whoa! What the hell are you? Yep, this is the goriest the game is gonna get, guys. <laughs> rated, rated M for Mature. Actually, it's rated M for Mature for other reasons, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Feel that, buddy. Feel that so hard. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> what are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. <sighs> hey... What should we do? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Got no choice. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. 
Say it, uh, you say it, Yosuke. Say my name. Say my name. It's stupid, but say it. You got a name? Teddy! Huh. <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Kinda reminds me of the first time I put on glasses and could see that the world had detail. It was actually kind of incredible. Ah, uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but, I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's that sound? No! I did not say push, I said touch me. Is this thing for real? Ugh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit and this is all the backup we get? Oh yeah, can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wait! What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I... I don't know what to do! Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not! I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way! <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki-senpais. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Johnny got to save 
is the protagonist. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. Keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Sensei! Did I hear you say Persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? And that's what I thought! This is really something! Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? You didn't do anything. Sorry. I mean, you will shortly, but you didn't do anything. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store! What the? Ugh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Damn it, not again. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this... Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places! I... I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. 
You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos... Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? I... never had the chance to say it. Is that... Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dip. P pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true, I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe... I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because... I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Get out of my sight! Ow? How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself.
Izanagi! I'm gonna crush you with everything I got! Out of the way! Persona! Persona! Pain in the ass! Get out of my face! Amazing, Sensei! Yosuke, you have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. I could do this for another couple rounds. Myself. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. This is my persona. We heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district, and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them.
The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but... I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Of course. <sighs> well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh. That's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! What's with that face? Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! I mean, scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Hmm?
Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? Not really. I see. I suppose you haven't been here for very long. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> I see. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow! You're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Dude, she is a minor? Well, I mean, I guess it might be a little bit different in Japan. But... Huh? No. Still um... creepy. This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. stream. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. 
The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. I wonder who's been wearing a kimono recently that we've seen. Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this! From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart, and the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you are searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Alrighty, so here's my plan for this run. Because it's Izanaz Izanagi only. I am going to be a lot, um, like getting different personas specifically so I can try to... You know, I haven't decided on how I'm going to work with inherited skills, but I Yo. am still going to work on the social links of the different party members so that I can get their extra battle abilities and doing whatever I can to make Izanagi not terrible um, past the early game. You saw what was on last night, right? We'll see how that goes. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Let's 
let's bring him into this. Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your Persona's abilities. Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko sign inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school.
Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Cry? Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Dang it, the, the line in the anime was funnier. I, I couldn't remember if the line in the anime was based off of an actual response or not, I guess it's not. Hey, you! We I'm know you're done. in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying! My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Alright. Don't forget to watch it tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic, and now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. 
She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's... Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Case closed. Let's go get drunk. Welcome home. Well, you should leave room. Two hours, 27 minutes. A lot of it is just me silently watching cutscenes. Kudos to the one person who keeps showing up in my stream. I don't know if it's the same guy, but... That was definitely Yukiko on the Min Midnight Channel just now. Hey, did you see that? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. But I gotta go to church. All right, fine. <laughs> So I woke up with him. He said he's gonna be late. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Weren't you going somewhere? It's more dependent at seven years old than I was at 18. <laughs> Gosh, that's embarrassing. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. You ever been hit with a golf club? That's a I mean, 
probably hurt more than that. I don't know. So, which one strikes your fancy? The katana, because I'm an editor. Ah, boy. you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? Or like this? What about this? Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap! I mean, no, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> oh, this is so painful. Oh, I forgot how painful this scene was. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! The sword's down, you moron. That's a good way to get yourself shot. Oh, wait, this is Japan, so maybe not. I don't know, but... <sighs> you didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? You have a really suspiciously similar voice to me. I kinda dig it. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? No. No, you are not. But... Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy, and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamana was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. 
we'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Let's all calm down. You're, you're right. So, what are we... With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? It's now hitting me that I didn't realize this before when I played this growing up. Yosuke is totally wearing snow boots in April. What's that about? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Don't be ashamed, Chie. LARP is a real thing, and it's awesome. I, this is just Here, a step beyond LARP. Here, this one looks LARP. good, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! All right. Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey. Mind picking out something for me, too? You're our main asset in battle right now, so I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice, either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Uh, I, I'm trying not to reference the High and Daisy comic too much, but they're right. <laughs> okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness Food Court. Sorry, Yasuke, I know that you've got your driver. It's probably...
so, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Excuse her. This is Marie. She seems... Her soul is still very young and... Shut up! Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Yes. <sighs> Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Okay, so this is how I'm planning on making Izanagi viable, in air quotes, past the early game. Um, we'll see how I'm able to pull it off. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Alrighty. Here we are back in the room. I have no need. What? Plenty of need down there. like in real life. <laughs>
save every chance I get. Let's go to Gines and try to save Yukiko. We really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. Gee, I wonder if this was a bad idea. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late. I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. It seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. For like a day straight. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I can see why, you know, scriptures say it's not good for man to be alone because apparently you go nuts after, well, I mean, This is 100% what I'm doing, sitting alone in my room, talking to myself while playing a video game. Though, to be perfectly honest, I'm only doing this for an excuse to play Persona 4. If people show up to watch it, like, that's just gravy. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Did you take most of the day you've been sitting here doing that just to come up with that pun? Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes! Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow! There's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it... Is it Yukiko-san? I, I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because 
because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? Yukiko, saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder, is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get, but after hearing your story, I think that program happens to the person who appears on it, or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? <laughs> Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait, don't go alone. Jeez, we better follow her. Nobody, nobody answered Teddy's question. Should we show him who's boss? All right! When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp. But you must master your fear and reach out to them. Hey, 
congrats! All right, I leveled up! Are you all right, Yos? <laughs> Don't get careless! <laughs> no one stands in nice. Sensei's way! Good work, Sensei! Nice That's move, one so far! Kill a card, baby. Amazing, Sensei! Alright, I leveled up! I 
I smell two enemies. Beat them up. No one stands in Sensei's way. Nice. Let's do this. Persona. All right. Let's keep. basically acknowledges the uh how of the game acknowledges how off the AI from, from Persona 3 was. Chie, are you alright? Chie? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpais, too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. What? Oh man, is that... It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over a suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. Are, Are we, we talking, talking about, about that, Yukiko? <laughs> she she says I'm protecting her. her. She, she says, says she's, she's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it should be, right? What are you saying? Yukiko's so good looking. So fair skinned. So feminine. She's, She's the, the one, one all the guys drool over. When Yukiko looked at me with such jealousy, man, did I get a charge out of that. Yukiko knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her. Much, much better. No! I've, I've never thought that! What are we gonna do? Need to protect Chie. We need to Duh. protect Chie-chan right now. No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. Wait, stupid. Don't say anything else like that. <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't do anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But you can go. She depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. No! That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so you're just going to turn your back and deny me again? But things are different now. When the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. You won't mind, right? I'm still you. Shut up! 
You're... Jean, no! You're not me! <laughs> <laughs> So the pattern is, is set for the um the first one of the one of the characters meets their um their dark self denies them their dark self turns into a stupid looking boss fight we beat the boss up and then the part uh, the character gets their persona and joins us. Chie! It's coming! You have to use your powers to save Chie Chan. such a pain! Chie, just hang in there a little longer! Huh. Think, Think you, you can, can stop, stop me that easy? easy. Let's do this! Should we show him who's boss? Alright! Out of our way! Let's do it. Ah! You're gonna pay, damn it! Here go! How lame! You're all so deadly serious, and we've only gotten started! <laughs> Should we show him who's boss? Okay! Out of our way! Are you guys idiots? Why are you protecting her like that? She's nothing but a grubby bitch! Kneel before me! Okay? 
Persona! I'm pissed now! Congratulations, Sensei! Are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. But, but. More than that. But I. He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean. Everyone has a side like this. Yeah, kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive, that I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. I, um, it's true that part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? Let's go back. I agree. We need to let Chia rest. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just, we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. I also have to hit up that weapon store and get you some decent equipment. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? I... I uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together. I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean... they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now! We've come so far! Yukiko's still here! She's all alone! She must be so scared! Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's... You don't know what's up ahead. 
The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san. Right? <sighs> right. I, uh... I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah, what's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? tam ta -dum! I got a pair ready for Chie-chan too. Here you go! Whoa, what the? This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now! You didn't tell me she was coming! It was all so sad and... I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? Faux so show! We'll have to stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? I disagree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I promise to. Alright. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we're counting on you. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. Okay, let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Hey, mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there... Anything you're not telling me? Of course not. 
I see. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Oh, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. Whoa. I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. Finally made it out of the. Uh, it took us three hours and twenty-four minutes, but we finally made it out of the opening uh, exposition. Um, I think this is where I'm gonna be calling it for today. I'm tired. My room is getting hot. And yeah, this has been fun though. I'm, you know, I'd still be doing it even if there wasn't just one um, one viewer because honestly, it's just an excuse. It's in my top five favorite games of all time. And I'm very happy that it got released. That the golden version got released on Steam. So, I've been playing it no matter what, but this is an excuse. And it's a good excuse. Anyway, thanks for showing up. Uh,